You're listening to Footscray Live. Welcome everybody, live from Footscray City College, you are listening to Footscray Live. My name is Isaac Johns, and with me on my panel today, we have Grania, Yasmin and Taylor. Uh, this is the Health and PE Show, and joining us on the Health and PE Show today, we have uh, Gretel, Kelly, Sam and Inez. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for coming. <laughs> um, so I might start off by asking what uh, Footscray City College's uh, health and PE program has to offer. Everything. Everything. Yeah, that's um, probably not a very... Oh, if yeah. the hands keep are raised, talking. do we keep on? Keep okay. Yeah, keep talking. Yeah, so we have um, quite a wide range of different electives for starting from Year 7, which is a little bit unique with high school because um, we've got sport as a core subject but students within that subject get to choose what they would like to participate in so and that's also a pathway to inter school sports so students will have the opportunity to um, go and participate and represent the school at different sort of variety of sports including all of the mainstream and the carnivals or uh, athletics carnivals and swimming carnivals and things like that as well so that's one area uh, do you want me to keep going on yeah now nah, uh, would you like to Sure. We've got some pretty cool electives that um, follow up from the Year 7 and 8 sport options in Year 9 and 10. Yeah. How uh, do the electives work? Or what sort of electives does our school have to offer? So, exciting next year with the new construction of the mountain bike course and the skills and pump track out the back of the school, we've got Ride Footscray. So, that's a Year 9 elective and hopefully we'll have some mountain bikes from Maribyrnong Council mm -hmm. offered. And um, we've got 18 to 20 students on the list for that one next year. So they'll be learning some pretty cool tricks out the back on the tracks and the jumps and, and all of that. We have Fit for Life. We have Advanced Coaching. So these are all electives where students can go and continue their learning in these unique sort of areas. And they take that out of the school as well into the community. So fit for life, they might um, start training up someone that has a particular goal and that will be outside of the school community as such. So over at VU Gym, we use them as a partnership and we we'll use their facilities where they can train someone up. Uh, and in the advanced coaching, um, those students pair up with a local primary school and they get out there and a sport they're confident in, they'll go and coach the, the students at that sport for a couple of weeks in a row. So build their confidence and uh, teaching skills and leadership as well. Yeah, sounds good. Um, just wondering, Inez and Samantha, you guys are house captains here. So I was wondering what you guys did as house captains. Um, well, we um, helped to organize the school sports events such as swimming carnivals, the athletics carnival. And we also helped, or helped out do certain events in the school as well, like, um, there would be a point system and you would win points if you participated in book fair dress up. Um, what else was there? There's like um, Ruby's Cube competitions. I'm not sure. There's like yeah. a lot of different activities. Yeah, there's just a few little small competitions throughout the year and you can earn points for them. Um, we also work together to in, um, encourage different students around the school of different genders, race, everything just to participate so it's a really... Um, equal environment for everyone sounds good yeah uh this is more aimed at kelly and gretel uh, when did you guys decide to uh, work <coughs> in health and pe um in a teaching sense and how did you come across to that um part of the industry uh for me when i graduated university mm -hmm. so there was no way i would be uh sitting in a school for the rest of my life when i was at high school myself so I had ambition to get into the federal police, which is probably a little bit different to what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. And um, to a pathway into federal police was through uh, a, f a few different um, recommended university courses. And I chose one of them, which was an applied science degree. Mm -hmm. And it included teaching. Um, didn't, didn't like it the whole way through until something just clicked at the end. Yeah. Uh, Working with teenagers, I probably prefer teenagers to adults and it's fun, so I love it. Never get up one day of the week or any... I'm, I'm never sort of making excuses to 
have a day off work or anything like that, which is what I always recommend for students to make sure they're doing something they enjoy that challenges them. They can a bit of diversity. So we've had a few different roles as a teacher, which you guys probably don't realise, but there's lots to do in an organisation like a school from IT to you know running small groups or trying different things and all the camps and just had a a massive amount of opportunity especially at this school so and um, what about you Gretel? Um, I went to university and studied outdoor education and um, through that course I, I had the opportunity to work with heaps of young people mm-hmm. um, that was something I really enjoyed and then I remember I did a Um, one of my teaching round placements here at Footscray City and um, the library the library man at the time Moose, Mm -hmm. he um, he was um, bold enough to tell me that I had the worst teaching methods and I was never going to get a job Wow! (laughs) Um, and good luck Um, but that following year he gave me a call saying hey there's an outdoor ed job that's come up um, you should definitely apply for it. So um, that's how I landed my job here at Footscray. And then I was lucky enough to be popped into the health PE crew. And um, yeah, haven't looked back since. Cool. Well, since you two like originally started in university studying something else and are now teachers, uh, what would you say your favourite part about being a PE teacher is? I, um, well, for me, I love... Not not all students, but a large majority of <laughs> students. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I don't what about love. this panel? No, let me finish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, a large majority of students you uh, do enjoy, or don't love. enjoy health and PE. And it's the sort of things that they're, um, you know, they love running around. It's their, their break from um, mm. day-to-day classes. So, there's not much of a a pushback from many students when you get them in the gym and they're, yeah, let's run around. Um, What was the question? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, just what was your favourite or most rewarding part of being a PE teacher? Um, Yeah, I think just naturally it's it's a subject that kids um, tend to enjoy. And then with health, it's all relevant. It's all relevant to everyone's lives. 100%. Um, You know, I find that kids prick their ears up during sex ed and um, despite whether they want to admit it or not, it's something that they are interested in learning about. <laughs> yeah, and no, just in general, just to add up, like I think, yeah, like PE and health, like they are such general topics. Like, you know, people, they may not be super passionate about PE, but I think everybody likes games, you know, like yeah. having thrown around, like as childish as it sound, like, sounds, I think still as teenagers, a lot of people are, like still enjoy doing yeah. that. And again, with health, it's such a general topic I think everybody can relate to. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. health is about yourself or someone that you love or, you know, everyone that you love. So you've got to be interested in that. And uh, games. So yeah. be <laughs> cheeky, have fun. So with PE, it's all about finding a way to get everyone out there active because it's so beneficial yeah. for your health. And 100%. when we talk about year 12 results, a healthy, fit student will get the best results. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know that there are programs introduced in the school for, like, especially for girls. Could you tell us a little bit about that? And this is kind of open to the whole panel. Uh, I saw a nudge over here. (laughs) So um, there are programs that are open for girls to feel supported and comfortable to play, like sport and stuff, and to have fun and see that the women and girls playing sport and they act as role models to them so they can learn to do that too and gain confidence to do that as well. Yeah. Uh, in the... Obviously, the school is expanding and is getting another campus uh, shortly. Uh, how is the health PE um, department going to uh, change in the process of splitting between the two different parts of the school? Well, obviously, we'll see all of our Year 7 students down at the Barclay Street campus next year. So when it, uh, when we discuss our carnivals, they're generally pitched at 7 to 9 students. So that'll be combined. So it'll be vertical. It'll be multi-campus events. So that'll be pretty cool to get everyone back together and um, getting everyone mingling and getting to know each other, working together. Um, and so then there'll be a lot of staff coming and going. So a fair bit of movement which I like because of it'll encourage a bit of active transport so 
maybe get some teachers on bikes and uh, or walking to and from the campuses. That would be a nice little way for them to break up their day. Yeah. Well, um, what parts of the... Because obviously we, uh, health, the health and PE um, area of school is a, it's a very large um, spectrum of things. What do you guys prefer? What side of it? Um, what specific topics Both. do you guys enjoy the most? I reckon I prefer health. Yeah? Yeah. And what about um, individual <coughs> topics within health? Uh, nutrients, uh, you mentioned sex ed before. The school um, uh, supplies a driver's ed program. Uh, what uh, areas in particular do you guys like to It teach? is so diverse, but a lot of those things could come under a heading of respectful relationships. So even it's a little bit far-fetched, but driver ed, it's all about having the right attitude on the road. Mm -hmm. Um, and listening and, and looking after yourself so that can still, you know, be under that, that title of respectful relationships. So I love both subjects equally for different reasons. So I like the um, performance enhancement and getting people active, learning about your body and how to improve it and how it works and why. So the biology and um, even biomechanics and everything of, the, of human movement and that works really well um, ties in with the health and and so emotional health and and how to get the best out of your life basically and that's for all areas so having having good emotional health and physical health is going to help you in your family life in your social life in your work life uh, forever so and it'll have a big impact yeah. the older you get the more important it will be I think that's a really good point Kelly because a, a lot of people will think that um, school doesn't mean much but um, then we've got we've got things like our health program that will um, affect us later on in life. Uh, how do you feel about it all, Gretel? What are your um, yeah that you're later in topics? life? Um, can you repeat the question? Uh, <laughs> specific topics uh, within the health okay. and PE um, spectrum. Yeah. Well, look. Um, if I answered that question before Kelly, I probably would have said health. Um, and, and everything that falls under health yep. because, you know, you're learning to look after your body, you're learning mm -hmm. to manage your emotions and all, all those different types of um, development. But having listened to Kelly's answer about <laughs> respectful relationships, um, she is right. Yeah. Everything, um, everything that we, we teach, we teach you to respect your body, respect others, um, respect consent, all of those things. Um, and... Yeah, I hadn't really thought of it like that, but yeah. she nailed that answer. Yeah, so good. I'm going to go with what she said. A another really cool area that we have, and it's small, but I'm looking forward to it growing a lot in the future, and I already see the beginning, is outdoor education. Yep. So that comes under our umbrella. And anyone that knows me or has seen me around the place, and Gretel as well, she come from an outdoor ed specific background. Mm -hmm. What a way to live life, travelling looking after the environment, it ties in with all the other areas of the school, respecting the environment, animals and spaces, and uh, making the most out of it in a sustainable way. So being active out there, it's not about being good at tennis or footy or anything else. It's about finding something that you enjoy that will keep you being active. Yeah. And if it's in the outdoors, even better. Yeah, and it's, it's really good to bring up that point that it's not just about being, sp it's not just about sport or anything in particular. Mm. It is a broad range of um, topics. Yeah, um, this is Taylor. I just wanted to follow up on what you guys were talking about and how you're talking about like during like health, you know, it's all about, you know, making real big impacts um, or like, you know, respecting the environment. Uh, what would you guys say, uh, what would you consider the most important part of your jobs to be? No, oh, so imp our job is so <coughs> important yeah. that it's very hard to to uh, simplify that into a response. But I guess we constantly need to be open to change and educating ourselves and and taking on new challenges and things, and then being able to encourage and motivate and resource those opportunities for our students and our colleagues. Yeah, well, um, Inez and Sam, we haven't really spoken to you uh, as much as Kelly and Gretel. I'd just like to ask, you guys are house captains. Uh, yeah. How do the house captain system, um, how does it impact uh, the health and PE program? Well, um, with the house captain program, it um, 
motivates a lot of students to go the extra mile in their sport because they might know that it gives their house um, points mm -hmm. and we have a point system and at the end of the year things are tallied and there is um, a certain house that will win and I think that when there is points for the house to win it is like a motivation for the kids to like keep going and do their sport yeah and um, w with uh, house captains uh, how do house captains get chosen does everybody have an opportunity to apply or how's it work um, yes yeah, so at the start of the year um, you just you write up um, reasons as to why you'd like to become a house captain yeah. and it's open to the whole school mm -hmm. so there's the there's two junior captains, two middle captains, and then two seniors. Yeah. So it's open to the whole school. You apply with reasons why you'd like to mm -hmm. um, be a captain, and then you're interviewed by teachers, yep. and then they select. So the with junior, middle, and 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 uh, senior, um, you referring to year sevens and eights as a group, year nines and tens as a group, then year eleven yes. and twelve as a group. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yep. Okay. So cool. So these guys are really good out on the sport carnival days. It's not all about, again, for an example, uh, the swimming carnival. It's not just about the 50-metre freestyle or anything. Yeah. Um, it's also about the novelty events. Mm -hmm. So they'll facilitate all of those along with the house captain staff members and encouraging everyone to participate in some way at those carnivals. So they they really inspire other people to get involved and it's a bit of camaraderie and team building and and all of that. Yeah, uh, and how, how did you girls um, come into being house captains? Have you been house captains before? Have you, when did you decide you wanted to be um, a house captain at Footscray? So I've been house captain since year eight and I've always done it because I've always been a fan of sport. So competing and also just supporting other kids who are competing. Mm -hmm. um, this is my first year as being yeah. a house captain and um, <coughs> just at the start of this year, I decided that I wanted to take on a leadership role. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't know, just thought one day just like it really interests me and mm -hmm. I like the competition and I like sports. So I was like, this seems like a good thing to take on. Yeah, uh, I suppose it'd look really good in your resume <laughs> and CVs <laughs> and stuff later in life as well. Um, so that brings us to our interview to an end. Uh, thanks, Callie and Gretel and Inez and Sam for joining us today. Uh, that was Kelly, Head of Health and PA and Sport at Footscray and Gretel, Teacher of Health, uh, PA and Sport at Footscray City College. Uh, thanks also to my interview panel today, Grania, Yasmin and Taylor. Uh, my name is Isaac Johns and thank you for your company. You're listening to Footscray Live. You're listening to Footscray Live.